YGO Anime Games Delta bringing you Mai's Duelist Kingdom deck profile. Now, hopefully, you saw our Mai vs. Joey duel. If you didn't, definitely check that out. For those who don't know, we're in the middle of the Duelist Kingdom wave right now. That means a bunch of new decks in Duelist Kingdom, a bunch of new duels. We got quite a few cool characters left. And then we're going to show off like Rex, Pecora, Panic. So definitely make sure that you keep watching. Yeah, and as always, check out our Facebook. If you're new to the channel, we have a ton of decks from 5Ds, the original anime, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So make sure you check that all out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get on to Mai's Duel's Kingdom deck profile. Mai's always been a popular character. So we start off with a card we didn't really ever see her play again, and that's 3 Dark Witch. Uh, so 1800 attack isn't bad for Duel's Kingdom. Um, you did see a lot of weaker monsters played like Feral Imp, Griffor, Trachodon, Basic Insect. Um, so 1800 attack definitely comes in as, as pretty strong. It was interesting that this was, you know, the only uh, non-harpy that we saw in my play in Duel's Kingdom, as far as I'm aware. Then we have three Harpy Lady, kind of your basis for the deck. Uh, the original art, too, um, before they recensored it to cover more of um, her body. This is really the whole point of Maya's deck, right? This was her big monster. And in fact, in the anime, um, when she actually Elegant Egotist, she didn't get one card that was Harpy Lady Sisters. She just got more heart of the actual Harpy Lady, right? Of the actual creature. Um, so this really is a center point of her deck. And um, 13 on track is, you know, is not that great. Um, you know, she would boost up with a field power bonus. Um, but this is where all your cards like Elegant Egotist, Cyber Shield, all that come in. My deck stems obviously from the Harpies. And we saw her develop that theme later on in Battle City with new monsters like Cyber Harpy Lady. And then she had a lot more Harpy cards in Waking the Dragons. But for Duel's Kingdom, things stay pretty simple. Three Harpy Lady Sisters. So like I said, in Duel's Kingdom, uh, this wasn't an actual card. Um, for us it is. 1950 is not that bad. Um, it's not as strong as a lot of people's boss monsters in their Duel's Kingdom decks. Um, but it does get the job done. And then we have three Harpy's Pet Dragon. Um, so this one's a little stronger. Um, boosting it up, she used this against Yugi, and you can get it. You can get it pretty powerful with Harpy Ladies, um, depending on what your field is. Um, but even this can struggle to get over some of the more powerful monsters in Duel's Kingdom. Um, this is a really cool card. I'm glad it got reprinted because um, for a while this was like a fairly expensive card because it only came as a secret for a video game. And then um, when Harpy's got legitimate support in the TCG uh, a few years back, it became like a $70 card. Uh, no longer with a nice reprint, um, but yeah, it's such a cool card. I, I loved Harpy's Pet Dragon when she played it. I thought it really gave her deck a new dimension, um, moving away from, you know, just having a couple Harpy Lays to having, you know, this kind of bigger monster that goes along with them. Um, now that is it for the monsters in Mai's deck. I mean, it is a relatively small monster count. Uh, obviously in Duel's Kingdom, a lot of the characters didn't play enough cards to create a unique 40-card deck. So we almost always have to introduce some of our own cards. And we try to find cards that we really think fit the character, and we don't want to just introduce, you know, whatever to the deck to finish it out. Um, we didn't find a lot of monsters we thought would really fit her deck. You know, I mean, Harpy's brother came out early on, but that was changed to Sky Scout. You know, it's not really a Harpy monster. Um, Konami doesn't think of it as a Harpy monster. We, we didn't want to include, like, new Harpy support that was really strong that came out in the TCG. Um, you know, this is Duel's Kingdom, right? We're not trying to use new powerful cards that didn't exist back then to kind of change the dynamic of the deck. Um, so we were content with giving her just those four monsters. Um, and most of the cards we introduced, you'll see, come in in the spells and the traps. So first up, we have three Cyber Shield. Um, not much to say here. 500 attack boost is, is pretty good. Put it on Harpy Lady Sisters, it goes up to 2450. It's actually pretty strong for uh, Duel's Kingdom, so shout out to that kinky armor. Um, 2D spell. She played this, but we didn't want to include three. Um, spell Trap removal can be kind of powerful in Duel's Kingdom. Um, there's not as many spells. Equip spells are kind of powerful, so the ability to get rid of them um, can be pretty strong. And as we all know, she's Harpy's Feather Duster, so... We want to make sure she didn't have, have too much spell and trap removal. Three Elegant Egotist um, really comes in handy. Um, actually, special summoning is kind of rare in Duel's Kingdom. So having three of a card like this um, definitely gives Mai's deck an advantage. Um, then we have two Follow Wind. Um, so this is kind of a card that came out early on, right about the right time for Duel's Kingdom cards. Um, and it just boosts up a Winged Beast type monster. Right? So you can't use it with the Harpy's Pet Dragon. 
um, or Dark Witch. This really just bolsters the Harpy ladies themselves. Um, so this plus Cyber Shield can get can get pretty mean. And like you'll see with some of the cards that we introduced ourselves, there's only two here. Um, you know, we try we try to keep things reasonable, not necessarily always just stock the deck full of three ofs um, for cards that they didn't actually play. Um, so as always, you know, we make what decisions we feel fit the fit the character. Um, Whatever we think makes it feel authentic to the character um, and to the era. Harvey's Feather Duster, uh, only a one of. Um, you see, we double up on a lot of cards to get a character's deck up to 40, um, but we're not going to throw three Harvey's Feather Duster in a deck. Um, it's kind of, it'd be kind of crazy. So it gets the, the one of inclusion. Um, two Monster Born, very prevalent in Duel's Kingdom. Um, they also call it Reborn the Monster. Um, Two of here, uh, a good number, and we're not really afraid to put two Monster Born in a deck. Then we have three Mountain and two Terraforming. Um, so if you saw Weevil's deck profile, this will look familiar to you, or if you've seen our duels. Um, if not, this is the uh, engine that we've decided to put in uh, these Duels Kingdom characters' decks um, to make them really feel more authentic to the field power bonus that they had. In Duel's Kingdom, the field power bonus was it was a huge element. You know, we've allured Yugi to a specific arena just to power up his monsters. We saw it consistently throughout the early anime, um, and we thought this was the best way to recreate that, um, right? We're not going to, you know, do the exact field power bonus, right? We didn't want to do that. Um, but we think the field spells like Mountain and Forest for Weevil, you know, including these characters' decks, help accurately recreate that bonus and do give a little boost to the monsters. Um, so while cards like Mountain and Terraforming aren't cards they played, um, putting them in the deck makes the deck feel more authentic to the way it was actually played. It makes the gameplay feel more authentic to Duel's Kingdom because we get to recreate that very, very important aspect of the field power bonus. Um, the two Terraforming is there to search out the field spell. Um, it would kind of suck if a whole bunch of games you just never opened up with the field spell, right? You know, just you could do four or five games with only three of it, you just never happen to see it, right? So terraforming just kind of helps increase the ability to see it. Um, also, it can give you a little survivability in terms of being hit with the spell or something like that. Um, you know, you can grab a second one. Um, so we felt this was this was a really good inclusion, right? We didn't want three terraforming, that'd be a little too much. Um, but this helps us recreate that field power bonus um, in a way that makes a lot of sense and really just makes the deck um, feel more authentic. So that's why that's there, and you'll see that in all our um, all deck profiles for this wave. One pot of greed, the last spell. Um, not a card we include a, a lot, but for some of these tools, king decks, it helps fill them out with a card that, especially after tools, king, we see a little bit a little bit more. Then we have three fairies hand mirror. Um, so while not in Duel's Kingdom, this is a card we did see my um, play. It was shown in a flashback. I know um, it was about the right time, right? As one of those cards, Magic Ruler, right? Comes out about the right time. Like I say, we don't want to include anything like you know from the future, anything crazy. You know, uh, in a Duel's Kingdom deck, we want to keep it to cards that feel realistic for that time era. Um, so this felt like it really fit the deck, and knowing that was. You know, a card might used even if it was in Duel's Kingdom. We felt fine including three. This effect can be useful. Um, you can switch, you know, a spell that targets. It can be an equip spell. Um, or, you know, some other kind of specific spell. Something like Mystic Box that designates a, a monster. Um, so that's pretty useful in some situations. Three Mirror Wall. So whew, this is a really, really strong card. Um, in Duel's Kingdom, you, you can't pay the cost for it. Um, which does make it a little worse in Duel's Kingdom. Um, but conversely, it's also just very strong in Duel's Kingdom. And with a lot of decks not having spell and trap removal, if we, say, got rid of the cost and didn't make you have to pay a cost for it, because we left up almost indefinitely in a lot of duels, right? And um, there's some decks that will just literally never have a strong enough monster to get over it. Um, so it'd be, it'd be a very unfair card. We decided to leave it in with the cost. That makes you still able to use it, and you still get the accurate effect of having the attack. Um, without it being too too overpowered. And this is definitely the card that, even without being able to keep it a second turn, you always want to see it in, in the deck. So we really feel it's um it's, it's powerful enough where it is. And we didn't want, you know, to have it errated for Duel's Kingdom, but not Battle City, you know, things like that. We didn't want to, you know, have it only Duel's Kingdom errata. Um, so it was a very careful consideration we put into this as we do with many decisions. Then we have three um, Shadow of Eyes. 
So this is a uh, kind of powerful card. You can catch your opponent off guard. They set something, flip into attack. You can do a lot of damage like that. Um, especially with face of defense, Dual's Kingdom, not always the most useful. Um, but she played it, so it gets a 3 of inclusion. And it has its uses. Um, and that's it for my deck. Um, a, a lot of spells there. Actually more traps than most characters, and uh, not quite as many monsters. Um, but just what she played, it, it really feels like a good accurate deck for us. You can let us know what you think. You know, uh, people, everybody seems to be enjoying the field power bonus uh, we created with the field spell so far. Um, so anyway, our next game will be Rex versus Joey. So check that out. That should be an exciting duel. Um, like I said, you can check out the Weevil deck profile. We've done another uh, Weevil versus Yugi duel. There's tons more content to come from this wave. Subscribe to us if you're not already. You can check out all our other duels on the channel. You can check out our Patreon as well if you want to support us. Um, we put up some cool exclusive content on the Patreon. And anyway, guys, just thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the wave. And Why Joe Anime Games out.